Hey everyone, Mr. Johnson here. So what we're going to be looking at today is volume of prisms. Now they're going to be very similar to the volume of cylinders that we covered in the previous lesson. In fact, the formulas are the exact same. So here it is. If you notice, the formula is the same, capital V equals capital VH. Now remember, capital letters in this case is dealing with area of the base. That's why it's capital B. And then this H is the height of the prism, just like how it was the height of the cylinder. Now I do want to point out, because we're talking about prisms, the shape of the base is going to be different for each of the prisms. Unlike in cylinders where each of the bases are a circle, in this case we have prisms that are triangular. So these are triangular prisms. We know these are triangular prisms because here's a base, here's a base. There's always two bases in a prism, and they're always opposite of each other. So I know this is a triangular prism, and I know this is a triangular prism. Both of them have two bases. Now remember, when you name a prism, you need to name the base, followed by the word prism. So like I said, these are triangular prisms, and you're going to be seeing various other different types of prisms in this section, such as square prisms, also called cubes, rectangular prisms, there's parallelogram prisms, there's trapezoidal prisms, where the base is a trapezoid. So take your time. Make sure you identify that base so that way you use the right formula. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us during any of our office hours throughout the week. Remember, the times for that is posted at the very top in our Google Classroom. Until then, have a good one.